Santa Clara, the USC Trojans defeated Stanford 3,128 in the 2017 Pac-12 Football Championship game, making history as the first Pac-12 South team to win the title and staking their claim for consideration in the four-team college football playoff to be announced on Sunday. Obviously the reality is well need some help, USC coach Clay Helton said, looking ahead to Saturday's games featuring teams ahead of them in the latest CFP rankings. But we deserve to be in the discussion, especially the way we finished the season. We're hot right now. The Trojans' all-around excellence carried the day on Friday, including explosive plays on both sides of the ball. What? A-G-A-M-E, at USC underscore athletics, pack 1-2 FB champs. Pick.twitter.com Pixney PDAGV, Pac-12 Network at Pac-12 Network December 2, 2017 The game was dense with big plays, and the athletic feat started early. USC quarterback Sam Darnold found tight end Daniel Amator Bebhi for a 48-yard reception, the signature play of the Trojans' first scoring drive in the first quarter. Michael Pittman Jr., who enjoyed a breakout night with 146 total yards, hauled in a 7-year-2 counter stake the Trojans to an early lead. Trojan touchdown Darnold hits at Mike Pitt Jr. for a 7-yard score fight and picked out Twitter.com 5vb5 Joror, USC Trojans at USC underscore athletics December 2, 2017 Stanford answered immediately, as Bryce Love punched in and then yard scored to open the second quarter. It was the 17th TD of the season for Heisman Love, who passed Toby Gerhardt 1,871 for second place in Stanford single-season history. Love trails only former teammate Christian McCaffrey 2019 yards on the Cardinals' all-time single-season rushing list. USC scored 10 consecutive points in the second quarter to open up some breathing room. But Stanford stayed in touch. J.J. Arcea Whiteside's spectacular 42-yard reception in double coverage set up a one-yard punch-in from Cameron Scarlett, trimming the deficit 17-14 with 34 seconds left in the half. Ronald Jones too again extended Stanford's lead to 10, at 2,414 with 449 left in the third. But K.J. Costello found his roommate Caden Smith for an 11-yard two-count with 231 ticks left on the clock in the third quarter, cutting the Trojans' lead to 2,421 and setting up the fourth-quarter drama. Momentum was with Stanford to start the final frame, until USC mounted a goal-line stand, including two fourth-hand unstuffs of the Cardinals' vaunted jumbo package. Darnold, with both feet in his own end zone, then found Pittman Jr. for a 52-yard rocket to spark the Trojans' decisive 99-yard scoring drive. Jones, too, capped it off with an 8-yard two-count run to build USC's lead to 3,121 with 442 remaining. Stanford again closed to within three points as Costello found his trusty tight end in Caden Smith with a 28-yard two-count catch with 209 left. The Cards onside kick attempt went directly out of bounds, however, and USC converted on a fourth hand due to to kill the clock and deliver the Trojans their first Pac-12 championship in the event's seven-year history. Final USC 31, Stanford 28 The Trojans beat the Cardinal to win the 2017 Pac-12 championship fight and picked out Twitter.com org 9 io USC Trojans at USC underscore athletics December 2, 2017 Sam Darnold was named the Pac-12 football championship game's most valuable player, going 17 of 24 for 325 yards and tossing two two counts. With 325 yards and two TDs tonight, at USC underscore athletic Sam Darnold is the 2017 Pac-1, 2 FCG MVP. Pick.twitter.com 7 Kigkerpoi, Pac-12 Conference at Pac-12 December 2, 2017 USC, Stanford, and seven additional Pac-12 teams now await their bowling fate. Helton believes the Trojans have separated themselves from other Twalas teams in the CFP mix. We're sitting here as a champion. That's important, Helton said. We sit here with 11 wins. We sit here with an unbelievable strength of schedule. We had the opportunity to show on national TV who we are. Follow at Pac-12 Network as bowl selections are announced on Sunday, December 3rd.